What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. Today, folks, we got a little metal bat versus wood bat showdown. Oh, yeah. So I'm here with Drew Jones today, uh, Vanderbilt commit, MLB draft prospect. Uh, we're going to see what's hotter, folks. We got the Voodoo one. We have your gamer, the Victus Knox. Uh, then his wood bat here. I got my old hickory. Let's get it. All right, folks, so you'll probably want to stick around for this one. Probably going to be one of the coolest videos we've ever made. Going to hit some bombs for sure, but uh, we have a wood bat versus a metal bat showdown. We've done uh, exit velo with this before, but it's going to be good to see, like, on field, how do these bats really act compared to each other? How, how's the ball going to fly? What's the swing weight like? What's the sweet spot like between a modern-day BB core metal bat and a wood bat? So there's a big perception in the baseball bat world that metal bats are juiced, and that's not really the case anymore, guys. Back in 2012, BB core got introduced Introduced that really deadened the bats down and basically made these metal bats kind of emulate the performance of a wood bat. Back in the 90s and 2000s with the 90s era bats, the unrestricted bats, and then in the 2000s, the BESR Beaser bats, uh, those were juiced bats and that's where that perception kind of comes from, where you'll get an extra five to 10 miles an hour of exit below an extra 25 to 50 feet of distance from a metal bat. We got Drew's Gamers right here. We have a couple of my favorite bats here, a metal and a wood. And we're out here today at a D3 school uh, here outside of Atlanta, just beautiful Oglethorpe University. That's our target today, folks. Trying to hit it on that roof, baby. That's about a 400 foot shot. Let's get it. All right, folks, first round, we got our metal bats here. We got a 3330 2021 Voodoo One BB Core. Then we got a Drew's Gamer here, a 335 30.5 uh, Victus Knox Drop 3 BB Core right here. It's a good miss. I think I got it. I know, I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. 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 All right. Oh. We're on the board, baby. Oh, yeah. baby. Is that it? Is that That's it? That's it. That's it. Right. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh yes. wow. That, dude, I hit that one really good. Oh, baby. Ooh. Way up there. That's a poke, man. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, oh yeah. my gosh. That hooked around. That's that a fair ball, baby. I love this bat, dude. Yeah, bro. It's just so easy to swing, man. Oh. Did you? Yes. Oh. oh. 410 attack. Oh. Oh. Oh! Baby. Oh! No, 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 no way. Oh, oh my God. God, what? We got the juice today. I don't know what it is, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. All right. Woo! Good start, good start. Get the power line up there. Get out there. Perfect, perfect. Oh, dude. dude, that was a tank. <laughs> it's so it's light. so dude. light compared to my notch, dude. Get under one. To be able to hit oppo, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Hey! Get up there. Oh, oh my man. god, he's right there. Oh, wow. All right, hands pop spin. Yep. And we're bringing back old classic folks. The OG fans will recognize 
the squishy barrel. I gotta let Drew swing this thing, man. The best BB core versus the worst BB core. It's literally squishy. Like you can freaking punch this thing and it doesn't hurt. It has like a layer of like rubber. Weird, dude. Um, the sweet spot was just like non-existent. It hurt my hands a lot. I was gonna say that. This thing's a trip, man. I haven't hit with this thing since like April 2020. Oh my, what the heck, dude? Is this a 33? Yeah. This bat is just <laughs> so strange. It's good for the content. Yes! Get there. Yes! Is it? Nah, it's gotta be short. They can't, it, they just can't. <laughs> I missed this thing, man. I got I bought this for probably seventy dollars. Yup, yup, yup. Is that the building? No. Oh, oh yeah. my <laughs> best bet hey, of all time. It's, it's worth the seventy dollars, man. Oh. oh, dude, that hurt my hands so bad. If you're willing to only pay seventy dollars for a bat, <laughs> I'd probably get after it, dude. That oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. Get out. Is that your truck? Oh, oh, dude! I can't believe I did that with this thing. Come on, is that it? Ooh. It works, bro. Oh, oh it my works. Goodness. It's gonna do the job. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, dude, yes. It's gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Off the stairs. It's not as bad as I've like always made it out to be. Like, don't get me wrong, it sucks, but like, <laughs> it, you, it, it'll sort of do the job. That will. Oh my oh, God, That will. Dude. No way. Yes. Oh. Bro, you went two off the gym with the goat. This squishy Seventy dollars is. It's a tight investment for you. <laughs> All right. Now, dude, it's it's just it's so easy to swing. The barrel is even like pretty forgiving for how light it is, and it's just hot, man. Like you can launch the ball with this thing. It's just it's an easy bat to control, and it's just not that difficult to catch barrel if, if you know what you're doing, right? So uh, let's try the wood bat. Should be able. To, might be a rude awakening at first, but the ball is still flying. All right, folks, second round, we got the wood bats here. I have the old Hickory MT27 steel press maple. This is a 33 drop three. And then Drew's wood bat here. We have a, a Louisville Slugger Custom. This is gonna be similar to an Acuna. This is the C416. See a nice flared knob right there. 33 and a half, drop three. And we got the uncupped barrel right there for a little more end weight. Going for the roof. <laughs> that, that, would be, that would be equal distance. All right. So the, the swing weight on this shouldn't be too much different. Uh, this is definitely kind of on the lighter end of, of wood bats. Definitely sounds more satisfying. Hurts the hands a lot more. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Dude, it's, if you, it's just way harder to get it. But if you barrel it up perfectly, it goes as far. Yeah. That's crazy. I really didn't think I was going to do it. Well, you got it. Yeah, it's just even this is noticeably heavier than the Voodoo. And it, it just really kind of forces you to really get the barrel out front. You can't get beat as much. If you get it down here, it, it rings you up, man. Oh, See, I, I got out. that pretty good. Oh. Yeah, so it's in order to get like metal bat BB core performance, you really have to get like perfect, perfect. You like there's one little spot you have to just match where on the metal bat, you probably have like a three, four inch range where like you can hit it out. Whereas like this for me, like there's one little kind of finger length spot. I have to get it on this. I would say it's as hot. It's just way harder to like attain it, you know? It's hard to really find that same swing. Get out of here! That's wrong. All right. Yeah, just barely though. 
There, it's just you got to get it so so flush. It feels good though. They're gonna do it. Yep. I can't believe I caught that one. So if the hands that was impressive. Oh yeah. Maybe. Uh, Missed that a little bit, hands. Uh, a little bit. Hands. All right. Ooh. Yes, sir. Bro, oh, that's peace. It's a, when you barrel it though, it's so much more satisfying yeah, with the no, wood bat, bro. It feels a lot better. You feel like you earned it. Yeah. You feel like you actually did something. <laughs> wow. It doesn't. It doesn't even hurt either. It like, <laughs> yeah. feels good. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my yeah. Goodness. I'm getting warm. I'm getting warmed up now. Yep. I sure get out there. It's out. Woo! That's gonna get. Yes. Oh my oh god, my. bro. Yeah. That's good. I'm gonna go for. Dude, that that's just as far as that big one you hit with the voodoo. Okay, one more with the metal bat. Cam, I'm calling it. Furthest ball I've ever hit, right here. <laughs> I called it. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh my wow. god. Huge. Wow. Damn. Oh, it's wow. Alright, one more. Yep. Oh, that's bad, but got it. Good enough, bro. Jeez. Alright folks, and last little round here before uh, the rain comes. This is why metal bats have the perception that they're so much hotter than wood bats. The 90s and 2000s. So in the 90s, you basically had unrestricted bats, the red line, the reflex extended, that green TPX, all those bats, the black magic. And then the new bat regulation in the year 2000, the Beeser. So this I think is a 2010 Nike CX2 composite BESR. These are juiced. I think we're gonna see how far we can get up on that roof here. Oh man. <laughs> Missed. No way. Oh my god, dude. I hit that right there. I hit that on the Nike. Wow. Love that sound, bro. That sounds crazy, bro. Oh wow. Come on, baby! Oh my Get wow. going! Oh, oh, soft. That wasn't even good. Come on. Oh, yeah. yep. Oh, that's gonna smoke this one. Pick <laughs> it! <laughs> no, what? Oh. Oh my god. That hit the that went way further than I was expecting. <laughs> yep. Yes! Yep! No way, bro. Get there. Oh yes. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. Still up there. I can't help myself. Drop it. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, missed it a little bit. A little bit. Yes, good shot. Yes, good shot. Oh my god, I got it. This is like a baby bat. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Boom! Hit the window. Wow. Nah, That's this crazy. is ridiculous. <laughs> Score more! Come on! Come on, baby! No, that's over, dude. <laughs> oh, no. over. oh my god. Well, let's go save those baseballs. Alright, so back behind the scoreboard here. Drew was about 
10 feet from hitting his car. <laughs> all right, Drew. So, I mean, we hit all right with both of them. It, it worked out. So between wood and metal, man, what was kind of the game changer going from metal to wood and wood back to metal? Um, sometimes swing weight. Um, the, obviously, when you swung the Voodoo one, it's a lot lighter than a metal. It's like bat. a cheat code. It it's just like, makes it easy. It feels almost like a drop five. Yeah. So, but um, it swings like one too. Yeah. So <laughs> go ahead and get that if you can. But, um, I mean, I like swinging this bat. It's almost the same weight as this one. Uh, That's huge. probably a little bit. Well, Kids need almost, to take note on that. Yeah, it's yeah. almost a little bit heavier than this one sometimes. Yeah. But, um, I mean, pretty much with a metal bat, you're going to get a larger barrel. So probably you're probably going to get from, like, here, like, right around here to, like, here with yeah. a metal bat. You're probably going to get, like, that much room yep. to work with. And then with a wood bat, real, real sweet spot. It's probably, like, that big. So Tiny. About a, yep. about a ball size. So, yep. I mean, I like swinging wood. You get the real feel with it. I mean, it's probably going to go just as far, if not further, if you hit it right on the barrel. I mean, I love swinging metal. You just... It's fun. You can miss balls and it's still <laughs> yeah. 500 feet, so it's yeah. a lot of fun. I prefer swinging wood. It's just preference. I mean, I like having a real feel and not getting cheated with my swing. So, so there it is, folks. I mean, they're they're just as hot. Like the wood bats, I think, are as hot as BB core bats these days. It's just harder to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So if we were gonna like make a bat bro scale for this, it's just, it's a much different look. Like the pop is there. My highest exit velo I've ever gotten in my life was with a bomb bat. And it was just with good baseballs, I barreled it. It's just the sweet spots are a lot smaller, the swing weight is clunkier, and they break and they ring your hands up. So it's just, it's a completely different material. They're still hot though, man. I mean, look at Aaron Judge, look at Giancarlo Stanton. Like, they're hitting nukes, man. Look at Drew Jones. By the way, best hitter I've ever hit with on this channel. He, that guy's insane. So fun video today, folks. Can't thank these guys enough. The old stormy petrels of Oglethorpe University. This field's absolutely gorgeous, folks. Uh, make sure to follow Drew. Uh, I'll put his socials down here for you guys. God's got a bright future ahead of him guy can swing the bat with the best of them you'll probably see that guy on your tv pretty soon and then make sure to head over to baseballbatbros.com you can see all of our bb core uh U trip rankings we'll put some uh wood bat stuff up there as well for you guys you can kind of see some of our uh, favorite wood bats and durable options as well so we will see you guys next time peace out